Hello everyone. It has been a long time, two or three weeks, and I do apologize. But uh, I have been moving to a new apartment. And you know how it is, pack everything up, load everything up, and then unpack and unload. Or unload and unpack. But I am back. And just in time, because Dark Souls 3 just came out. I actually got it last night at 9 o'clock. And uh, I decided I'd spend today, because I'm on my spring break. I can actually make a video for you guys. Isn't that awesome? We're back. Yay. All you jungle animals. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Yes, I know. So, uh, as you... Well, as you know, but uh, this will be the first 15 minutes of Dark Souls. As uh, we've done previously. Uh, so, let's go ahead and... And uh, jump right into it. Yes, indeed. We don't care about the intro. You can... We're here just to play, right? Alright. Entry complete. So, Jungle J. Jungle... J. I'm a male. We'll stick with knight. Knight's uh, the basic. Burial gift. Appropriate for a warrior. Ooh, okay, we'll take that. You know, we're just, uh, this is just the first 15 minutes. If you, you can watch me do Twitch and it has more in depth. So let's uh just go ahead finalize creation because you can like it's it's a ridiculous amount of things you can do and uh yeah so because you know I play, of course I'm gonna play I played last night but this is just uh you know the first 15 minutes and all that good stuff Okay, so this is uh kind of takes place in the same universe. Oh, in the, does it's like pretty much that's the third game. Uh, so hiya. So uh, from my playthrough that I've done already, there is some great like great things they've added. Uh, it is hard, <laughs> right from the get-go. It is actually hard in the Dark Souls fashion. And I love it. Like, I, I die all the time, but it's like... It's it's a, it's a different kind of dying than uh, what we're used to. So, from... If you already look up to uh, where my health bar is, you'll see like a blue bar. And it's a mana bar. And, uh... So, yeah, so it looks like uh, spells will be mainly based upon mana. And uh, not how the previous ones were done by faith. And it would determine how many times you can cast a spell. Or certain spells you can only cast, like, three times. But those were the major spells. So up here, what I've noticed is that they don't have the crystal guys anymore. They are these, or at least... So far, I haven't run into any. You know how the ones, the crystal lizards. So now they have these guys. They're like taking revenge. Like all the ones you killed, they've taken revenge and gotten to a higher form. And now they just want to, they kill you. They've known what you've done. Come on. So I'm not, I'm barely doing any damage to him. Like 15. Oh, and he hurts a lot. And I feel like the stamina regeneration in this game is uh, a lot quicker than what we've used to seeing. Oh man, I don't, okay, there it is. Can we do it, guys? Can we do it? Oh. Yeah, he's a uh, got a quarter. 
just gotta do, do two attacks. Just can't, you know, you really cannot rush into this game. You have to take everything in small doses. And he's almost dead, but you know, patience, 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 patience. Oh, so. Whew. Ah, we did it. That was, that was a close one. I, as you can see, I almost died, and I'm actually out of Estus flasks. So, yeah, good luck on that. But yeah, but they changed some things, the animations, and uh, uh, if you watched, as I kept using the Estus flask, uh, it showed, it was like a full, then it went to halfway, and then it went to, like, there was a little bit of juice left. So it kind of, it doesn't, it's not the amount of SS flask you have. It's more of like you taking like little sips of it rather than drinking a whole thing. So it's, it's those little things that are actually really, really cool. And not to mention if uh, you're actually playing this in HD, uh, like 1080i or whatever, that it, it looks amazing. Just from the sheen of my armor. And uh, if once you start dying, you'll notice that your guy looks like he's being caught on fire, or he starts like burning. He's like ashen, because that's uh, that's that's what you are. You're an ashen warrior. That uh, you woke up and you kind of gotta find the Lords of Cinder. Rest. And just learned a new gesture. So we're gonna go ahead and try uh, the parry. We'll see how it fares in this game. So, heavy, heavy damage. But you have to, like all Souls games, you have to perfectly time it. Because uh, if you don't, you know, as you see, I was actually blocking. Oh, I missed it. Uh, I was actually blocking most of his attacks. But I, I just wasn't getting the parry that I wanted. No, 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 no. Cha! Alright, so, uh... About to come up to our first boss here, and uh, it's, it's it's interesting. So let's go ahead and uh, pull you out because he's got like a squid on his back. So yeah, be smart to do that while because uh, they might fix that in the patch. But uh, yeah, so you can get a, you can already get his health down pretty low, or a good chunk of his health. So then he does this thing, and this is brutal. See, I don't know it. So uh, like it'll sometimes like unlock. So the key here is just to stay behind him. And then, but you gotta be careful. Oh! Yeah, so the key to this fight is just stay behind him the whole time. Uh, or if you have, if you start off as a pyromancer, those guys are actually weak to fire. Oh, hello. Ember restored. I guess I use the uh, every time you beat a boss, it's kind of like you gain humanity, except this time you, you gain ember. And it increases your health until you die. And uh, you'll pick up these things because in previous games you picked up humanity, but in here you pick up ember. And it plays the same effect, except you get a bigger boost in your health until you die, like I just previously mentioned. As you can see, the as I kind of like used or gave me an ember my guy is uh he's burning he's burning a little bit because uh you know you're you're dead essentially you're an undead and uh yeah of course there's always a little 
little things to pick up here and there. Oh, there's an item over there. So let's go ahead and grab that. And shields are very interesting in this game. Because, uh, you know, sometimes you'll... It really... They have to hit your shield. So if they do some kind of weird under... Uh, under attack or sometimes you'll do one that it'll kind of bypass their shield and it will hit them directly so sometimes it's good just to keep swinging because uh, you might find a vulnerability in their defense I see you oh yeah you gotta be careful man that happens Okay, lock on to the right guy, please. Thank you. So as you can see, as I uh, just kept attacking him, his shield, if you noticed, his shield was moving from side to side like I was hitting it away. So those little things. So sometimes you, to get past those wooden, wooden shields, you just got to keep hitting it. Just keep hitting it. God, I peed myself a little bit. Ooh, that was a... I almost had my first death with you guys. See, I just picked up an ember. And uh, it'll do what I, what I mentioned before. You know, increase your health and whatnot. But yeah, so far this game has been amazing. Yep, and we have reached the... Uh, are kind of like a little, you know, our little base of operations here. Each throne represents a Lord of Cinder. And if you look closely, you can see one on the left right there. But here is our Firelink Maiden. Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. I am a firekeeper. I tend to the flame and tend to thee. The lords have left their thrones and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. Oh, really? Ashen one to sovereign less. I'm sure. Ashen one. So we'll go ahead and level up. Then touch the cake nut. All right. Uh, it still has the, uh, you know, kind of the same layout. I think this, I think this one's a little easier because you can see the highlighted. It, uh, that's what leveling up certain things will affect. We want a lot of stamina. That's why I was the beginning of the game. I load all my points into stamina. And then because, you know, you can dodge better. You know, you just need, you, this game relies on stamina. Who that looks like a familiar face. For all you fans of the other Dark Souls game, this guy will look mighty familiar to you. Well, a newcomer, I see. I am on. I serve at this shrine as a humble smith forging weapons. You're in search of the Lords of Cinder, I trust. A toilsome journey, I'd wager. You require good arms. Let me smith you weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. So yes, Andre has been in the previous two Dark Souls games. He has been your smith, and from the the looks of it, since he's here, he must be the ridiculously old, the undying blacksmith, bound to forever serve us. But here you can uh, reinforce your weapons as you collect titanite shards, and you can infuse your weapons as you collect, see as you can collect these gems, but I see I collected one, but my weapon does not meet the certain maxed out level you can repair your equipment you can uh because that looks like that blue since i won't since i'm not gonna be using magic yet you can give yourself an extra estus flask you can here you can also reinforce but if you need a shard you can talk i don't want to see me. and this lady here is your friendly shopkeep I've lots and yes, Asher, as is I want. 
he has in you can actually sell items too to get souls which is actually is a finally a nice touch to dark souls games because there was one guy in dark souls 2 i believe dark souls 2 or dark souls 1 or he was like a dwarf and you had to find him at like three different areas and he you could sell your things to him but this way you can finally sell your unwanted gear and items which is a nice change of pace if you uh you know Ashen. if you would agree all right guys that has been the first 15 minutes of dark souls 3 but continue along with me and uh i'll make videos but I'm going to try to focus on bosses for my Dark Souls series. And uh, any little like, random knickknacks I might find. And uh, as always, I'll share them. But you can follow me on Twitch. And I will be probably playing a few hours every day. Or an hour every day. You know, whenever I get the chance. Oh, hello, guy. And uh, yeah. But I'm happy to be back to finally making these videos. Because I do quite enjoy them. And uh, it filled up my time. And yeah, so yeah, uh, welcome back and I'll see you all later.